sketch the graph of the natural log of x divided by the log of x and find the domain. Let's go ahead and work this out very, very carefully. So let's rewrite f of x as follows. Well, the natural log of x, let's write it like this. It's log base e of x divided by log x. Right, that's what the natural log of x means. It's the logarithm base e. And now we can use the change of base of formula very carefully. So this is equal to log x divided by log e divided by log x. So this is equal to log x over log e times what well, we're dividing by the log of x, so we multiply by the reciprocal. And so we end up with 1 over the log of e. So now let's go ahead and draw a preliminary sketch of the graph. So there's the x-axis and there's the y-axis. And we know that 1 over log e is a number, so this is a horizontal line. Now we also know that x has to be positive because negative numbers and 0 do not lie in the domain of natural log of x or log x. So x must be positive. Also, x can't be 1 because if you plug in 1, you end up with the natural log of 1 over the log of 1, which is 0 over 0, which is undefined. So x has to be positive, and x can't be equal to 1, and this is a constant. So the graph is going to look something like this. We're going to have a little hole at 0, and we're going to have a little hole at 1, and it's going to be a horizontal line, and that line is 1 over log e. So that's the graph, and from the graph we can get the domain. It would be 0 to 1 union 1 to infinity. Sneaky, sneaky problem. I hope that made sense.